Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Here in this video, I will tell you what is diffusion and on what factors the diffusion depends. Here we will see it with the help of this simulation which has been created by using FET simulator. So first of all, let's start this uh, video lecture with what we mean by diffusion. Actually diffusion means the flow of a substance from a region of higher concentration to a region of low concentration. The diffusion is observed in uh, liquids and gases because the particles of liquids and gases can move randomly in all the directions. It's not observed in solids. So here as you can see I will vary various parameters and will see how the diffusion depends on various factors like number of particles okay we have two containers here and this is the dividing line okay and this is the divider which is uh, stopping them from diffusing from one side to another so i will first uh, change various parameters like uh, number of particles the mass in atomic mass unit the radius radius of these molecules and their initial temperature and then i will remove the divider and will show you this is the divider and will show you how the diffusion takes place okay we will also uh, see this data here you can also observe the center of mass how the center of mass varies as the as the diffusion takes place and the particle flow rate and scale is shown here and stopwatch is here so this experiment is going to be very interesting and you will learn a lot of things in this simulation so watch this video till the end now i am going to start the experiment okay let me tell you something before starting this uh, simulated experiment see this is the first uh, container and here is the second container and this is the divider and one more thing that uh, as i will uh, vary all these parameters this side okay this left side parameters are for this side container and this right side parameters are for this right side container okay now i will increase the uh, number of particles in the left side container here initially they are zero there are zero particles on both sides so let's increase it to 10 so these are 10 particles in this side and you can see their uh, initial temperature is same on both the sides and radius the molecules are of same size same radius and their atomic mass is also same the difference is only in the number of particles so let's vary each parameter one by one and we will see how it affects the diffusion so here are uh, 10 particles as we know that uh, these 10 particles these 10 molecules you can say are moving in a straight line until they collide with each other okay and then after collision their path changes okay now as i told you that uh, diffusion is actually the movement of uh, particles of liquids or uh, gases from a region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration it means if i will increase the number of these particles from 10 to more number of particles the rate of diffusion should increase okay this is called the concentration gradient the gradient of concentration the difference in the concentration okay so here you can see if you uh, talk about uh, the two sides then here we have a zero number of particles and here we have 10 particles so if i remove the divider since there is a concentration gradient between these uh, two sides so it is uh, obvious that the particles will flow from the left side to the right side so let me remove the divider so you see so you can see these particles are flowing from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration and this uh, movement will take place until we reach to a state of equilibrium where they are evenly distributed in this whole container okay uh, we have seen uh, at what rate they are moving the rate of diffusion actually if i will increase the number of particles then there will be let, uh, let me first reset this divider we did this experiment with uh, these only 10 particles if i will increase the number of particles then to 20 or you can say up to 30 or uh, 50 then you say there is a larger difference between the concentration here 50 particles and here only uh, here is zero particles so the rate of diffusion should be higher because there is large concentration gradient large difference so if i will remove the divider they will they diffuse faster okay so 
you can observe it and it will move until they are evenly distributed number of molecules or these particles are evenly distributed in the whole container so this was our experiment with the only the number of particles okay let's again reset it you can also do this experiment uh, based on the number of particles only uh, having uh, two different types of uh, particles let's uh, have some particles on the right side also here we have 50 particles on the left side and 10 on the right side if you see here that uh, on the right on the left side we have uh, 50 blue particles and zero red particles and on the right side we have 10 red particles and uh, zero blue particles so the concentration of uh, these red particles on the left side is uh, zero and the concentration of uh, blue particles on the right side is zero so they will move from the region of uh, higher concentration to the region of lower concentration to maintain the to reach the state of equilibrium so let's remove the divider so they will move from higher region of concentration to lower region you can see you can see this data initially here we had only uh, we had uh, only zero particles zero red particles now we have three you can observe this data that they are reaching the equilibrium initially on the left side we had uh, 50 blue particles and uh, on the right side zero blue particles but now you see that there is the state of equilibrium reaching only uh, you can say 20 around 20 particles okay they will reach after time some time they will reach attain the state of 25 25 particles it's just random we cannot say accu with accuracy because they are very small particles and uh, see four or six uh, red particles so they are re reaching equilibrium state so this was uh, the concept of how diffusion uh, is uh, based on the factor which is called the number of particles now reset the divider again now we will perform the second experiment of diffusion the second factor on which uh, the diffusion depends is the mass of the particle it is in amu atomic mass unit okay the mass of molecules is measured in amu atomic mass unit actually uh, when we performed the number of particles uh, first experiment of diffusion then we kept other parameters equal on the both sides of this container now uh, as we are experimenting with the mass of the particles we will keep other parameters same like temperature is 300 on both sides and radius is same of both these particles and number of particles are 10 on both sides so here uh, we will vary this uh, mass and we'll see how their movement of the particles takes place so the concept is as we will increase the mass their movement will become slow and their rate of diffusion will also slow down okay it will also decrease so here initially they are 15 amu and i'm going to increase the mass of these particles on the left side so observe with increase in mass initially they had the same uh, velocity by which they were they were moving now the heavier particles on the left side are moving slower slower in comparison to the particles on the right side you see can you observe if i even further uh, uh, increase the difference between these uh, mass let me reduce the mass of the particles on the right side and to show you the clear difference okay here the particles mass on the left side is 32 amu and 4 on the right side you can clearly observe that the particles on the right side are moving faster so what you understood by this if we increase the mass then the diffusion will reduce obviously re diffusion means what diffusion means the particles moving from region of higher concentration to lower concentration so here the red particles concentration is zero and on the right side the concentration of blue particles is zero so they will move from a region of higher to lower concentration so let's remove the divider and you can observe that uh, the movement of particles of uh, red color is faster you observe here you can observe uh, with this uh, particle flow rate that red particles are moving faster in comparison to, to the blue particles the rate of diffusion of red particles is more so now again reset the divider as uh, I just discussed that as the mass of the atomic mass of the molecules increases 
the rate of diffusion decreases they move uh, slowly on increasing mass but uh, what uh, if i want to increase the rate of diffusion even on uh, increasing the mass uh, i can increase the temperature one thing i can do is increase the temperature or increase the number of the particles uh, let me show you how uh, suppose uh, on the left side particles i have higher mass initially uh, they are equal equal mass 25 amu so you can see other parameters are also same so they are moving with uh, with the, the same speed okay having same kinetic energy and refusion rate is equal if i'm increasing the mass of the particles on the left side and decreasing the mass of the particles on the right uh, on the right side then you can see the clear difference particles on the right side are moving at faster rate okay in comparison to particles on the left side now i want to increase uh, the speed or the rate of diffusion or the movement of these particles on the left side so what can i do i will increase the temperature you see with increase on the temperature and i will decrease the temperature or the of the right side okay so this is one more experiment that uh, on decreasing the temperature the energy of the particles is decreased and they move at slower rate and on increasing the reverse thing happens so although the mass of the particles on the right side is low but i have decreased the temperature so they are moving slow at slower rate one more thing i can do is by increasing the number of particles on the left side so now you see although the mass of the particles on the left side is more which has caused reduction in the velocity of the particles movement of these particles the rate of diffusion is lowering because of increase in mass but the i have increased the number of particles and also increased the temperature both of these increase in number of particles and increase in temperature have resulted in the compensation effect and we have increased the rate of diffusion of these particles so in this way if we want to increase the rate of diffusion of uh, particles having large mass then we can increase their temperature or we can increase the number of particles so the concentration gradient will be larger if i remove the divider you see the rate of diffusion of uh, these heavier particles blue particles is not less in any way in comparison to these lighter weight red particles because of uh, we have changed other factors so now you know that how these uh, various factors affect the rate of diffusion okay so uh, you can also observe the particle flow rate and also can observe how the temperature this average temperature is changing these two particles are maintaining or attaining the state of equilibrium at the equilibrium state the number of particles on both sides will be equal equal doesn't mean that equal equal actually means the number of red particles on both sides will be equal and number of blue particles on both sides will be equal you can see here that only difference is 5 5 okay red red and 65 and 64 nearly equal and also temperature also tries to attain the state of equilibrium the equal temperature on both sides okay you can observe the center of mass how the center of mass is moving with the with this diffusion with the movement of uh, these particles and uh, the rate of flow of particles the particle flow rate is shown by this okay with this you can observe that blue particles are having higher rate on both sides and as the large as this vector is larger length of vector means higher movement of these these colored particles okay so friends this was all about uh, what we mean by diffusion and on what factors the diffusion depends and uh, what can we do how we can vary the parameters different parameters on which the diffusion depends to change the rate of diffusion so i hope you understood the whole video lecture and learned something from this 
For more such videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy and if you liked this video then please click on the like button and share this video with your friends. See you soon in the next video. So thank you for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video till then bye bye and take care.